Could this be what Tesla has been waiting on as its secret weapon for its affordable $25,000 Model 2 or Model A? I think it could be. This would change the game. This would help Tesla to have a huge advantage over the competition. In fact, I'm claiming it would be an insurmountable advantage. This is the first I've heard of this technology. If you're watching this video, you're one of the first people in the world to learn about this new technology. It's a hybrid battery, a combination of sodium with lithium, and it could potentially be the future of the global battery industry. I don't say that lightly. If you think about it, what I'm saying is very real because this is coming from the world's biggest battery manufacturer. They're not the world's biggest by a small margin either. They're the world's biggest by a massive margin. CATL have just revealed insider information directly from the company saying what the future of the industry they believe is. And I'm talking about not just for energy storage, but for electric cars. This is fascinating news. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to see you. Thanks to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate what you guys do. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to support us on Patreon. Support the renewable energy in the electric car and the mission of having an electric emissions-free world. That's the whole point of this channel. It's why we make six or seven videos per day to help educate as many people as possible about the incredible future we're looking at. As long as we embrace this technology, as long as we embrace this way of thinking, we don't keep on pushing the whole tired, dead, let's burn as many fossil fuels as we possibly can. That's a great solution. Look, yeah, that's really, I mean, hey, it did help. It was, it was good for a while, but it's time to give up on the drug. It's time to stop snorting the cocaine. It's basically a drug. We need to get off that addiction. Why not? It makes sense. This is a big way we can make that happen. A lot of people keep saying, what do they keep saying? There's not enough lithium. Ah, yeah, it can't work. Yes. Okay. Maybe not. But actually, it's not really true. One of the reasons why is because new refining methods, new mining methods are revolutionizing the ability for us to extract lithium at high rates at lower costs. So yes, lithium prices are ridiculous right now. They are so ridiculous. The companies like CATL are coming up with revolutionary ways to reduce the amount of lithium used in batteries. Now, this is not the only revolutionary way to, use, to reduce the amount of lithium we use in a battery. By using more manganese in batteries, we can actually reduce the amount of lithium we use significantly in a battery pack. Now, that's one way we can do it, but it probably an even more significant way is to do what CATL are about to do. They are, while they have a battery pack, they say we'll go in electric cars, which will be a combination of sodium and lithium, enabling a range of around 500 kilometers. Basically, they're saying if they just use sodium battery packs, you can get vehicles with a range of 400 kilometers. But if they have a hybrid technology using lithium and sodium ion, those vehicles will have a higher energy density battery pack, and therefore the range could approach 500 kilometers. Now, CATL have been working on this battery technology for years. I reported on this a long time ago, but I didn't know that at the time they were working on a combination hybrid battery pack. And CATL actually, even though people don't realize this, have incredibly good technological advantages versus many other companies. And while I'm going to talk about mass manufacturing battery packs, their lithium ion battery packs and their new Kirin battery, their new M3P battery packs, I believe will set the standard when it comes to batteries. And Tesla is going to be deploying those and their CATLs biggest customer. So the key question is here, could the new Tesla Model 2, Model A, the $25,000 affordable electric car, could it deploy these types of battery packs? Well, you know what? It would make a lot of sense. It would make too much sense. Think about it, right? We've got to reduce the price. Tesla can reduce the weight of the vehicle, use the CTP structural battery pack from CATL. What are they going to use? What chemistry are they going to use if they're going to reduce the price of the car, right? Smaller range, sure, but 500 kilometers is more than enough for an affordable car. What are you going to do? Reduce the battery pack. Not only the LFP batteries, they're more affordable. Then add sodium ion to the mix. You reduce the amount of lithium enormously, brings the battery pack costs down. I'm thinking we can see a reduce a reduction in battery pack costs by an order of magnitude. And I'm thinking maybe potentially a 50% decrease in costs. 
because of why. I'll tell you why, mass manufacture. Tesla's planning on selling more Model 2, Model A vehicles than they are of every other vehicle put together by a factor of two, every one. That means they're gonna be mass manufacturing batteries. Now, if Tesla said, you know what, Tesla obviously would, would have been privy, I'm sure Elon Musk would have been privy to the information from CATL, they're their biggest customer. CATL would have said to them, guys, we have these new battery packs, hybrid battery pack, you'll pay less for them, it's going to be in more, it's going to give your cars enough range. We use a Celta pack structure. You can reduce the weight. You use your giga castings, reduce the weight of the car. And guess what? You have a truly affordable electric car that Tesla can continue to make big margins on. That's what I think will happen. And then when Tesla uses them, well, who do you think is going to follow? Not everyone, but many companies will. So how do we know all this? Well, a CATL executive said its sodium ion batteries will be used in electric vehicles within the next 18 months in what appears to be the first public mention of the prospect of using these batteries in EVs by an official at the company. As for the application in passenger cars, sodium ion batteries generally meet the needs of models with a range of up to 400 kilometers, said Hong Ki Sen, deputy head of CATL's research center, where they were talking about sodium batteries at a forum Today, says cnevpost.com. Through its pioneering AB battery technology system integration, CATL has achieved a mix of sodium ion and lithium ion, allowing them to complement each other and thus increase the energy density of the battery system versus having sodium ion alone. So you could have two options. You could have a more affordable EV using just a sodium battery pack with a lower range. Then you could have a still affordable but more slightly more expensive battery pack using lithium ion and sodium and then you could have a lithium ion phosphate pack then you could also have something like a 4680 cell pack as well giving you four possible different options all with different ranges or potentially using the same size pack same exact size just different chemistries this approach would allow sodium ion batteries to be able to support ev models with a range of 500 kilometers he said adding that models with that range account for 65% of global market share, meaning the use of sodium ion and lithium ion hybrid batteries is going to happen and could be massively deployed worldwide. What does that mean? Much less lithium will even be needed. You could potentially, think about this, right? This is the world's biggest battery company. If they're going to be pumping these batteries out and this becomes their biggest product, which it more than likely will, then far less lithium will be needed by CATL. And remember, I just reported on what's going on at BYD. BYD are also making sodium ion batteries for energy storage, and it sounds like for electric cars as well. Two of the world's top three biggest battery companies say they're using sodium ion. Well, do we really need as much lithium as people thought? Maybe not, considering all the other battery technologies that are also emerging, which don't need lithium, which I've reported on on this channel. CATL actually unveiled its first generation sodium ion battery on the 29th of July, 2021, saying a single energy density had reached 160 watts per kilo, the highest level in the world. That's a similar energy density to what we see in today's lithium iron phosphate battery technology. Not the new technology coming out, emerging out now, but it's similar to today's technology, meaning they are definitely commercially viable at that energy density in an electric car. The company said at the time that the energy density of the first generation sodium ion battery was slightly lower than that of a current lithium ion phosphate battery. However, it has massive clear advantages in low temperature performance, fast charging, high power application scenarios in alpine regions for energy storage, etc., and also in terms of cost. Sodium is incredibly cheap and abundant in comparison to lithium. CATL's next generation sodium ion battery energy density, they say, will exceed 200 watts per kilo, giving it energy density similar to lithium ternary batteries from only a few years ago, meaning it is definitely deployable in electric cars and makes sense. It said last year, and it also said that it has started the industrialization layout of sodium ion batteries and plans to form a basic industrial chain in 2023, meaning they'll be mass manufacturing sodium batteries for EVs and energy storage 
in 2023. And they don't do things slowly at CATL. They ramp up very, very fast. They know the competition is out there and they don't want to give that competition any chance at all to catch up. That means these batteries will be deployed, I would say, by the end of next year in electric cars. Does that mean sodium ion batteries will replace lithium batteries globally? No, not at all. In fact, will they replace them? No, they'll be complementary. They'll replace them in some applications, obviously energy storage, they'll, they'll replace them 100%. They'll replace them in some cars, more affordable cars with lower ranges. And then of course, of course, the hybrid sodium and lithium ion batteries will replace some cars as well. What this will mean is though, we're not looking at a zero sum game here because electric cars right now, they only represent around 10% of global market share. By the time we hit say 50%, there could be just as many, if not more, lithium iron phosphate or lithium ternary batteries being deployed in cars. But then in addition to those, we're going to have these sodium and hybrid sodium and lithium ion batteries being deployed as well. So no, they won't replace them, but they'll definitely take significant market share. I'm just looking at and thinking about this. How do I get on in on this opportunity when it comes to investing, because clearly a lot of people are not aware of this right now. A lot of people don't have any idea of what's about to happen like you would from watching this video and learning about this new technology. I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna find out how I can take advantage of this and I'll get back to you on that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to find out what's gonna happen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.